Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel TDCH, the digital chapters. The digital chapters provide you the marketing, branding and tools and technologies you can use to enhance your business in online world. This is Santos, a successful marketing leader and digital marketing expert with 15 years of experience. On TDCH, we have created multiple videos to guide you in marketing, branding, and in digital marketing. On this channel, you can learn latest happenings around the world in digital marketing. Today on this video, we have created a local SEO course. In the completion of the series of local SEO course, this is the third chapter of local SEO course. This course is designed and developed by researchers of TDCH team. I am presenting this, the third chapter of TDCH. In third chapter, local listing, we have covered what are the local listings. And these are some chapters under this uh, course we have covered in lesson number three. All these eight points will be covered in this lesson. What is local listing? What are the business listing sites? What are the components of local listing? How to set up your local business? And what are the local business categories? How to create GMB accounts? What are the guides and certain guidelines to create Google My Business listing? And how you can get this verified using multiple tactics and methods? So in today's chapter, you will be learning all these points after this video. So watch this video very carefully and note down the points chapter by chapter and all these points that you will be learning. Let's begin. What is in this uh, local listing course chapter? So local listing. Now your question must be like, what is local listing? The simple question everyone asks every time. What is local listing? Local business listing. It's like a website where you can set up a business account and fill up your business details, including address, phone number, email, products and services, and description of your business. Some business websites provide more options to put in the local listing, like categories and other facilities of your business. It is considered as a website where the beneficiaries find local service providers, the latest offers, business audits, and lot. You must have heard like Google My Business, Yelp, Bing Places, Yahoo Local, and so many other local listing sites where you can put your business and get more leads and branding. So there are two types of listings. First is free business listing and second is premium business listing sites. So we will cover free business listing sites because this is very easy and convenient to all business owners. Second is premium listing sites. They take a lot of money, but you can try them also. Let's go with free business listing sites. If you are a small startup, you can try free business listing. Even if you are a business owner of a big business, you can try that. Number two point we discussed is uh, business listing sites. These are top 11 business listing sites I have uh, collected from internet based on their DA and spam scores. This data will help you understanding what is their rank in an online world like google.com, uh, the GMB, they have local listing, separate micro domain. Facebook.com, they also have started now separate list. So you can list your business on Facebook also when you have a page and you have multiple stores or your locations, you can create Facebook listing, Instagram, Yelp and Yahoo local, Twitter. These are some uh, listing sites where you put your business information in the NAP or incorrect format of uh, citation. Citation we have studied in the last chapter. You can uh, watch that video also. Citation helps you understanding the right format of business listing. So there are many business directories and local listing sites where you can put your business information in the right format. So users search on Google and Google can fetch that data in the right format. If you have put your business listings, if you have put your business on different business listing sites, that helps 
growing your local business in the right way and that ranks so these are some websites however that depends business to business because different business have different categories and they need to submit their business in the right category on the right platforms every business cannot submit their listings on all platforms so i request you to understand your categories first and then submit your business details to right business directory or website like bing local yahoo local google my business facebook bb ng's list merchants and linkedin some business sites that provide social media platforms also you can put your business any business should put uh, their information on the social sites plus listing sites so you can collect all these listing using internet you have to do a research based on your business or business category you should search nearly 100 or 200 citations where you can put your business information so now you have to understand what are the components of local listing like what you need to put when you are submitting your business and there are hundreds of informations you have about business but all don't need to be put on this platform because there should be a certain format you should follow this. like business name you should have a right business name sometime people put location name and keywords in the name that is not correct let me show you some example mobile showroom near me so when i when i'm showing you these results the mobile shopper and repair old this is not a correct business you should not put this way this is also not correct way but if this name is written on the board reliance mobile store j this is also not correct way now again i search in and phone repairer if they have the business name that is correct if they have the same business name that is also correct let's search more all businesses need to put their business information in correct way correct way that means you should have the business name which is registered or which has the store front with the same name like they have a store front and this is written go to shop london let me show you the business is that written so they have not written but this is somehow they have put it on internet business names need to be correct in the right format that has been given so similarly when you create any listing you should put the right name the real name that your business own and any type of business listing if you are putting that should contain exact business information that you want to represent now let me show you how to create google my business listing first of all visit on business.google.com this is the business listing site provided by google completely free to any business owner can create their business listing and generate business so i'm showing you one example suppose your business name is rohan sweet they are already suggesting one more business with the same name if you have another business with the same name or somebody has created a duplicate listing with your name you can claim them and you can get that back all these listings with the same names if someone has created you can get them back row on sweet i want to create completely new with this name after this they are asking me this ux and ui is completely changed now earlier this used to be different so now they are asking me to put the business category so what is the business category i will ask these are the business categories they will suggest based on my word i have put sweet shop sweets and dessert indian sweet shop so all these categories are available what you are offering that should be clearly 
like I am putting my business category sweet shop. Now put next. Now you have to uh, select yes or no because they are asking do you want to add your location customer can visit. So there are two options Google provide you when you create listing customers are visiting to your location or you are visiting to customers location only two types of business can be eligible to create business listing on Google my business. Suppose you are sitting in London and you want to serve in Paris. That's not possible because Google allows local businesses who are serving in particular geo locations. Either you are communicating to customers or customers are communicating to you or in other words in some rare cases some e-commerce businesses who are neither customers are visiting to them or nor they are visiting but they have their head offices or something so they can create so that is rare case i'll explain in next chapter so here you want to put that i want to be shown on google map what is the address now you have to put your complete address what is address you want either in Iran or in Japan any country you select based on that they will change the format of address because different countries have different section of addresses they represent to the users now I am putting my address in India I am saying my business location is uh, this Suppose this is my address and I am putting this city. Pin code, I can put anything. This is the state section. I am moving ahead. Oh, sorry, I forgot one. So now I need to put next. Now they are asking me to mark my location on map. So I'll mark where I am located. So this is the pointer you have to put. So now when you have set your location on Google, after putting this pointer, you can move ahead. Now they are asking, do you also serve customers outside this location? So you can put some other locations if you are serving outside of the city. Suppose I am serving two more cities, I can add here. So we'll put it later. Now leave it. Now here with the option, you can put your website and phone number. Suppose I put my website. The digital chapters dot com. For this time, I am putting my own blog. I am putting this name with my phone number. So you can put any number and business website that you own. Put next. Now your business listing is ready. Now they are asking you to verify this. So sometime. Google provide you more options verifying by phone number, verifying by postcard, email and video verification. So here they are putting the option. You are showing option only postcard. So I can say they will send postcard to my location with this contact details. I am confirming my communication address. They will send me postcard on this address within 12 days. Here I can complete my other information that should be shown on Google listing. You can do it later. Skip for now. There is a message icon shown nowadays on Google My Business application when you search something on. So they are asking, do you want to accept messages or not? If I say no, I don't want to chat with anyone. They can call me directly. So I can say skip. Here they are asking for the business description. You can put your business in description like we are here for 20 years and we have been serving something, any anything that your business represent. Describe your business in few words. Skip for now. You can add more photos, videos and logos. Skip for now. You need to complete. Don't skip for your business because I'm just uh, giving you an example. 
So this is the complete business dashboard of your location where you can see all informations are shown. So after putting complete verification of this business, this business will be shown correctly live. Here you can see the live information of this business. These are the different tabs, post. Here you need to create post time to time. Now let me go back to show me the business which is already verified by me. These are some of the business I recently verified and some are suspended verification required. So I want to show you this listing, the digital chapters. I have created listing for my office. So here you can see the business name. This is the exact name. This is the information address. Here you can see the post. Any type of post you can do. I have not done any post. So this is the post section. You can generate more leads and you can put events if you are organizing any shows and events. Offers if you are running, you can create offers. Information tab will represent the details of information that you are putting. So these are the categories I have put. Marketing consultant, marketing agency, telephone marketing agency, internet marketing service. So some categories you can put. Now how this business will be shown on Google, you can search from here. View on search. When you click, this will show the complete detail of my business. This is the knowledge pack. This is being made by Google itself. This is my location, name, and you can see verification. Blue tick is shown. Business hours I have not. So this is the information tab. You can see the dates and timings, daily timings, hours. You can add your phone number, any link that you want to show. Services, a list of services, accessibility, all these uh, sub tabs can be filled in the correct way. Here you will see labels. You can put top keywords. Based on that, your business listing will get ranked. You can use this tab to shorten your business URL and you can share to all people or on social media to collect reviews. Reviews help to rank on websites and Google search. Here in Insight, you will see the performance of your Google listing, how this is ranking, how people are interacting to you. Monthly, weekly, you can see the rank, how many people have visited on a website, requested to direction, and how many of them called you. So these are the details of Insights. You can keep studying them time to time because they help you optimizing your listing in the right way. Reviews, people who put reviews will be shown here. Keep answering them, replying them. Time to time will help you to boost your business. Messages, photos, and you can add more products here. Photo In photo section, you can add interior, exterior, works related, all type of photos you can add that is matching to your business. Products that you are offering to your business. Services, list of services, you can add them. You can create a short website using Google My Business Templates. These are the websites offered easily. I can put publish. They will put my business information in a website format. However, if you want to get domain, they will provide domain also. That's not useful. Here in user section, you can give access to the different users to your colleagues or your staff sometimes this helps when someone try to access your business so the notification will go to three four users so this helps you here you can promote your business listing using create ad or any new business if you want to add if you have any problem like someone has created your business duplicates or someone is trying to access your location, you can directly reach to support. Here, the support section provides you the detailed information. So this is all about creating and optimizing a business listing on Google My Business. Keep doing a lot of activities like adding photos, reviews, or replying to reviews, adding labels. This is only the Bible to rank on GMB. Now let's go back to the point number four. Setting up local business listing we have completed. Now move ahead. Local business categories. 
now you have to select which business category is right for you there are many categories on google my business i have collected some but when you create listing they will provide you a list of a uh, relevant category like ambulance service amateur trilinguals laws logistics lunch restaurant machine maintenance so many uh, listings are there around 257 i collected but i am showing you few this will help you to understand like what are the top categories you can put here how to create gmb accounts we just have gone through this creating a gmb account and verifying that that helps you to rank your business the main important part is here in only creating post time to time because post always update you in google ranks so we have covered all these points when you create gmb account you should have complete number four company name phone number address and website this is the right format of your business presentations so this is point number seven we have completed this point verifying your business this is point number eight that depends business to business sometime you, you can verify by the postcard phone number and all if you have any problem you can write to me or using comment box i'll help you to verify your business in quick way so this is the third chapter we have covered how to create gmb listing what are the things that to be in mind while creating thanks for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe this channel and share with your friends also write us back to improve the next chapter thanks